Aptera is entering a market that's totally unique. I don't even want to call it a vehicle. I want to call it Aptera because all, the only thing you're going to see in the marketplace like this is an Aptera. It, it has created a new, a new industry. Now, I, uh, I differ a little bit with um, Chris and Steve in that I think that uh, the launch of the product is going to go much faster and that the volumes are going to be much higher than what they're projecting right now. And, um, and as my wife likes to say, I'm always right. <laughs> so I've been asked to talk about um, market development and market, market growth by a number of different OEM executives. I've, uh, I've talked with Elon Musk, I've talked with Jim Farley, I've talked with pretty much everybody that's um, in the EV business, in the auto world. Uh, I have uh, expressed my view and said that by 2028, we'll be looking at a market that's 50-50. In other words, 50% of the cars manufactured and sold will be ICE, and 50% of those cars will be EVs, uh, BEVs. I think that I'm right. In fact, I know I'm right. I put lots of effort in the studies, and um, I'm outperforming certainly Bloomberg and Wall Street Journal and uh, even, even the big uh, consulting houses. I've been right quite a bit. And I'm saying that uh, after we connect with 5% EV sales, in other words, the market share is 5% for either BEV or hybrid, once that happens, it'll double every year. So this year we're at 5%, maybe a little bit more. Next year it'll be 10, the year after it'll be 20. And not everybody is going to be able to afford a 65 or $75,000 vehicle. I believe that the Aptera is going to take a significantly bigger bite out of the market share than it's being projected right now. I know that I've talked to a few, I know quite a few people who are wealthy. And when I show them the Aptera and talk about it a little bit, they're saying, oh, that's the perfect car for my house in Florida or my house in California or my house in Texas, wherever. Any of these, uh, any of these states that are below the Mason-Dixon line. So that's one market. The other market is the young market. The 15-year-old is going to be looking for his first or her first car when they're about 20. And at 33,000, today's money, 33,000 versus today's money, 65,000, which one can they afford? Which one are they gonna want? Which one is a smart kid gonna want that doesn't cost him fuel, doesn't cost him gas? Aptera, it's free. As long as the sun is shining, and I believe that it's gonna be shining for at least a billion or so years, so that's long after we're all dead. I think that it's the right move for anyone who's young and really and truly uh, wants to uh, live their life a little bit more fuller than uh, work, 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 buy gasoline, work, 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 buy gasoline, work, 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 buy gasoline. I think that uh, that premise is going to be, uh, it'll be a, a footnote in history. <laughs>